Now tell me when was Jesus born? Last Monday. What about when it comes to connecting singers to the PA system? Obviously, you'll need a microphone and you'll need a microphone cable. The other thing is you'll need a mic stand. Now we've got two types of mic stands. We've got boom stands and we've got straight stands. How do you know which one to use? Well, generally what I do is, I use straight stands for singers who are not also playing an instrument. If you've got singers who are also playing an instrument, give them a boom stand. That way, it gets the stand away from them so that they don't bang their guitar or keyboard on it. Now, the first thing that you've got to do is you've got to put the microphone in the clip. With these newer clips, the mic just snaps in like that. Then you take the female end of your microphone cable and plug it into the mic. The cable can just lie on the stand like so. Sometimes you'll see people wrap this cable around the boom, but I don't like to do that. The reason is that if the singer wants to take the microphone out of the stand, it's much easier this way. With singing pianists, you need to remember a couple of things. First of all, the mic needs to be close enough so that they can get right on it. What that means is, is that this stand needs to be behind the piano, not on the outside with the mic a foot away from them. The second thing that you've got to remember is that pianists play the piano. So make sure that this boom is high enough so that they can have clearance to play. The last thing is this cable. If this cable is lying on the keys, you will have one very angry pianist. So make sure you get it up out of the way. People also ask me, which side do you put the stand on? I tend to put it on this side for two reasons. The first reason is that the piano monitor is here, so you don't want anything else here. The other reason is that the pianist will usually get in and out this direction, so you don't want them tripping over and going flat on their face. Now what about when you have to mic a singing drummer? This is probably one of the most difficult things that sound engineers have to cope with, but it can be done. The first thing you've got to remember is that drummers need a lot of room. So in St. George's, this is just about the only practical way to set up a drummer's vocal microphone, because this is the only place where you can put a mic stand. Now when you do this, bear in mind two things. First of all, this has got to be high enough so that the drummer doesn't hit the boom when he plays the snare drum. The other thing is that this must not point into the drummer's monitor because if it does, you'll have nothing but feedback the whole evening. So if this ever happens to you, good luck and try your best.